audience. Welcome to the Joel Safari. Ahead is the road less traveled, and I, the Joel, will be your tour guide as we explore together. Today, we will resume our tour of Minecraft. Woo! Minecraft! Wow! Ah, what's that? Oh, rain! Woo! Weathery. So, we have some of the necessary ingredients to make ourselves some cool stuff, but not all of the necessary ingredients. I believe that we should go out and locate them. We primarily are in need of some materials that we can only get via overworld exploration. We've got a couple of good swords, we got some food. Let's go out there and make some magic. Now what we need is we need to find us some reeds. Reeds will allow us to make all sorts of cool things. But first, I, th I think we're going to avoid this rain. This is annoying. Scram rain. We'll come back when you're done. That's something else I want to do first. Something we left off from last episode I was planning on doing. There we go. Go down here first. See if we can relocatify our portal. Ugh. Ugh, my frames. Why my frames? Don't take my frames from me. Ah. Soothing music of Minecraft. Okay, so... It was the one with the gravel on the floor. Put the gravel on the floor. Oh, here we are. Okay, so our portal's down here. I'm going to show you an interesting place that you can go in the game once you've gotten some obsidian and some iron to make some flint and steel. I just need flint to also make the flint and steel. I can't even tell if I'm sprinting. Oh, okay. So, remember the portal we made last episode? Yeah, isn't it nice? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at it. We're going to right-click with our flint and steel. Ooh, see? And then, we're going to go try not to get killed. This going to be great. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, that sound means that we're on our way to the nether, which is not a place you really want to visit if you can help it, unless you're prepared. Uh, okay, here we are in the nether. Oh, great, we spawned somewhere that's mostly indoors-ish, except for that roof. Let's see if we can do something about that roof. There we go, that'll work. See, the thing about the nether is that it has some very dangerous mobs that we do not want to have to deal with right at our spawn point, at our, at our, uh, at our, uh, um, portal here, so... We need to place some materials to give ourselves a little bit of leeway in exploring this strange locale. This is very much the danger zone of Minecraft. And we do not want to... Ow! Oh, what was that? What's that? Oh, <laughs> thanks, fire. Okay, freaking give me a heart attack, you freaking fire. Okay. So, this roof isn't as high as we'd like. It's not made of any material we'd actually want to use. Oh, yeah, that noise. No! Don't eat my flesh. Uh, ooh, lava. So, the thing about the nether is it is a very dangerous place, and you want to have a clear and easy access to your portal in case you need to flee it. There are two or three or four or five different mobs you can face in the nether. Uh, the most dangerous, in my opinion, being the ghast. Uh, the gas can fly, the gas can shoot projectiles at you that explode, and they can use up all my cobble. Oh, well, we're, we're doing pretty good now. We're pretty well covered up. Yeah, we're do doing okay. I thought it'd be kind of cool just to show it to you. See that guy down there? I don't know if you can really see him. That's a zombie pig man. They're kind of dangerous. I like everything in here. But the nice thing about zombie pigmen is they're neutral until you do something to them. Over here's more fire. The cool thing about this uh, particular stone here is that it is uh, flammable, and it'll stay lit forever if you light it on fire. Oh, it's all out. Let's put that flame some more, more helpful. There we go. Let's see what's over here. Cool. Yeah. I think that's the zombie pigman I can hear. So this part's kind of safe. I think the nether works kind of like the rest of the world. And that if you have a fire lit, monsters won't spawn. Or at least I sure hope so. Hey, fire. 
on a fire there. That's dangerous. Over here. Okay, that's pretty well lit. Hmm. Seems somewhat dangerous. So we'll have to come back with some better materials and uh, make ourselves a slightly safer place to hang out. This is a pretty good starting point for the Nether. It's nice and, and secluded in this uh, enclosure of. Uh, I think it's called Nether Rack. This stuff. It kind of digs like sand. I forget. It dig better with a shovel or a pickaxe. Yeah, pickaxe. Okay. Definitely for pickaxing. Let's see here. Oops. Tor torch. Torch works. Okay. So yeah, this is another. We'll have to explore more carefully in the future. But I thought you might get a kick out of seeing it. I haven't really seen the Nether proper though. It's pretty expansive when you get outside. Let's see if we can find a place to see a bit more of the nether without getting killed to death. If we can help it. Now, the real danger here is that we're exposed. Yeah, we're doing okay though. There's no... Wow, this is really a small area. Normally the nether has a lot of big areas. What is up with my mouse today? It's like, it's like it just doesn't want to behave. <coughs> okay. I swear I have a pretty good mouse. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Technical difficulties are technical. Now, yeah, so this is a bit more like the another looks like. You, know, you get your red stuff, you got lava, darkness, and distance. You got this rock here. I think it's glowstone. Cool. I think it's a glowstone. It's normally really hard to get. It's kind of cool. There's some right here. But yeah, you want to keep an eye out for gas. Gas are really annoying. Um, you generally want some sort of ranged attack to deal with gas. But if you don't have a ranged weapon, you can knock their attacks back at them, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, we need a way to find this if we are ever here again. So I think what we're going to do is gather some of this nether rack. That's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, nether rack. And we're going to make a little tower out of nether rack so that we know or the entryway to our safe places. Now some of the things you'll find in another are zombie pigmen who are safe until you attack them. Mushrooms. And also there's some cool little dungeons that spawn around here. Okay, that's where our little tower is going to be. Right here. Okay. There we go. And we'll go to this. So we can get back down. Make it just go all the way up. That'll be fun. And I'll put some torches on it. So this should be a pretty easy to spot landmark if we're ever trying to find our way back. One of the neat things about the Nether is that it's kind of a different scale than the rest of the world in Minecraft. The rest of the world in Minecraft is, you know, at a one-to-one -one scale. You travel one square for every square you travel. But when you're in the Nether you actually uh, travel farther while you're walking around. If you make a portal and then wander away and then make another portal, I think every meter is worth like uh, 80 meters or something like that. No, it's European. It, it's not meant to make sense. Okay. Let's see, do I need that there? Yeah, okay. So yeah, so that's another pretty cool place. So let's go back and uh, go looking for that other material that I was talking about that we really need in order to... Ah, we need to find this other material in order to make a few new items that we want to get. We need uh, we need some reeds or sugar cane or whatever the heck it's called nowadays, which you can make into paper and books. And I believe that we need a book in order to make uh, an out, uh, an enchanting station. And we also need paper in order to make a map, which is pretty cool. And, and those are the main important uses for that material. And yeah, we also used to make sugar, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so we got ourselves a little base in another. It seems a little bit on the safe side. It's pretty good. We'll have to bring back more materials for next time. Maybe a chest with some uh, healing items in it, and a few other odds and ends, you know. Extra tools in case we get killed and have to come back, that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's nighttime right now, or... Uh, uh, yeah, it's just getting to be nighttime, it looks like. Great. Oh, well. Now we need some experience for our future enchanting anyway. There's nether rack and some cobblestone. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's eat some of this bread. Get ourselves back up. No, no. 
I like that sound effect. Okay, so we are going to go out and seek some experience as well as some uh, reeds. Yeah. Is that a... Well, that's an enderman over there. Uh, but first, we'll deal with these guys. Hi, zombie. Wow, you're stupid. Guys, look. I'm, I'm trying to have a grand adventure here. I barely got on my door. There we go. Okay. Anyone else want to mess with me, huh? This guy over here is kind of a tricky one. He's called an Enderman. This black guy, this, uh, this lanky, dark figure here. The neat thing about Enderman is he won't mess with you as long as you don't mess with him. Like, as long as I... Oh, shoot, that's a creeper. As long as I don't put my mouse cursor on him, he's not going to come after me. I think I might have put my mouse cursor on him. No, he's cool. He's got little pink eyes right now. He's not screaming. They scream when they get angry. Mostly. Quit getting all close to me, Enderman. Okay, so... Let's avoid that skeleton. I don't want to deal with the skeleton. We're looking for some water. Because water will help us in our goal of... Ow! Of finding reeds. So I figure we'll just kind of go in one direction until we hit an ocean. We can always use our compass to get back home. Our new creeper! Okay. Oh, there's some water. So, here's some water, and hopefully near it we'll find some sugar cane or reeds or whatever it's known as nowadays. Uh, this water does not seem to be helpful. Uh, got some zombies and creepers. Hi, right, guys. One at a time, please. Ow! Spider! I'm already fighting people. Man, stop it, stop it. See what you did? Eh, freaking spiders. Think they're all that. Spiders don't know. What do spiders know? Ow, jerk. Man, I'm awful at fighting. I should, like, do this less. Ooh, what's that? Ah, bad guys. Lots of bad guys. We're not here to fight bad guys. That's an ancillary goal. Our main goal is to find sugar cane. Yes. Ooh, what's that? Uh, it's like not shaded right. Oh, there we go. Fixed. Uh, do, 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 do. What's in here? Nothing. Great. Thanks, game. Thanks for getting my hopes up. I was going to find another cool cave complex. It's cool, though. Am I going to cry? Am I going to cry? Okay, so... Let's just follow this water around a bit more. and Maybe it'll... Eventually, have some sure. Hey, stay away from a creeper. Ah, you blew up. I guess you don't need any experience when they blow up, and it kind of screws up the countryside. Eh, not that I care. Okay, come on, let's get that tour bus going. We can get ourselves a skeleton. Ow! Stop shooting me. There you go. Jerk. I don't know who to kill first. Kill the ranged enemy first. Ah, spider. I have so many enemies. Ah, creeper, creeper, creeper. There right, you come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the king of this hill. This is my land. Land, not your land. From sea to shining sea and such. Okay, so. No sugar cane yet. Should we fight an Enderman? Let's fight an Enderman. Ah, he's mad. Uh huh. Okay, where's that Enderman? There he is. Uh, you can't get me out in this water, Enderman. <laughs> I killed him with water. Allergic or something. Now my food ex... Ah. There we go, all better. Now I'll regenerate. Yeah, you gotta keep that food bar full. Ooh, what's that? Uh, seeds. Uh, every now and then, the game will spawn uh, grass on sand... But grass can't grow on sand, so the sand, so the grass dies, and you get grass seeds. I thought they fixed that. Ooh, experience. What's down there? Nothing! Oh, there, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Right there. You see it? I saw it. Don't distract me, spider. I know where you live. Oh, God, it's climbing. There's a zombie around here somewhere. He's stuck on a tree. Okay. 
So over here, over here, that's what we want right there. That's the good stuff. Can't run in water. Yeah. But yeah, we don't need a lot of this because we can take it back to, to town to to uh, harvest and play with. But we're going to take it all anyway because we can. Hey, zombie. You're, uh, you're getting in the way. Kind of busy here. Can you come back later, please? Okay. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's just kill our shovel with the rest of the sand. Oop, that was it. We have more. We have more shovel. Hey there, skeleton. How you doing? You're a horrible shot. Did you know that? Oh, well, you're not that bad, but... Come on, quite frankly, I was at point-blank range, and you shot me one set of three times. Really? Looks like I've been here before. Maybe. Maybe it was, uh... What's-his-face? Uh, Notch's brother. Good old What's-his-face. I should make a character in a game called What's-his-face. Be like, ah, I'm that guy everyone's talking about. You know, What's-his-face. Uh, be funny for like a minute and I'd stop playing him. That one minute would be awesome. People would be like, oh, that's so hilarious. Uh, what, what is that? What, what is that there in the water? And why am I affected by a current? Okay, what, is that a flower? No, oh, arrows! Okay, those are the arrows the skeleton was shooting at me. Okay, cool. So we got what we came for. We got some reed. We're running low on time, though, so we're just going to make our way back home, which is that way-ish. Maybe we get some mushrooms, too, while we're at it. Come on over here, creeper. I know where you live. Can't scare me. Ah, my sword. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Ah, no. <laughs> kind of hard to fight creepers in the water. Yeah. What now, creepo? What now? Yeah. Hey, that looks like the sun's going to come up soon. Cool. They kill all the skeletons and, s and zombies. I hear they've made them smarter recently. I I'm wondering, audience, do you guys want to see me, like, playing the new versions of the game as they come out? Or do you want me to stick in this version? Some changes that they've made. A few require new worlds, which is annoying. Like, they've recently released a jungle biome, but you can only get to it in a new world. And a new world would mean that I'd have to start all over again. I don't want to start all over again. It worked really hard. So, maybe I'll finish out this season and then start a new season in a new world. You guys, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave me a comment or something. Ow, skeleton. Hate you forever. Yeah. What now, undead? Go back to your Lich King and tell him I don't want him around here. Skeleton, zombie, Lich King monster. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that looks like something I did. <laughs> there we go, make that look better. I hear a monster. Is there more monster? Oh, God, it's the pit. I'm not getting knocked in there again. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, some tiny trees. I bet these are my doing. Wasting my sword. Wasting my sword. Okay. Aha, we made it home. Bounty in hands. We return to our domicile victoriously. I believe that today was a very good day in the land of Minecraft. Let's head inside. And let's see here. Where are these spider eyes? Strings. Oh, we have strings. That means I can make a bow. Do I? Have, have I made a bow before? I have two arrows. Don't have a bow. Let's make, let's make a bow real quick. Yeah. Show you guys a new formula today while I'm at it, because I'm feeling swarthy. Do, 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 do. You're a junk you don't want right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. We'll, we'll want that for next episode. We'll hold on to that. We'll hold on to that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's everything we need. There's wood out of here. Get out of your wood. Okay, so to make a bow, you need some sticks and some string. Oops, more sticks. Okay. And what you do is you arrange the sticks in a little, like, arrow pattern, and then some string along the side. Now, if you can do this either way if you really feel like it. You, you can do it this way as well. But either way, you get a bow. Ta-da! Now, I don't think bows have durability, so all you ever really need is one bow. That's it. Now, usually what I'll do is have my bow and my sword right next to each other, and my shovel is on the side for when I need it, but I keep the sword actually mainlined. And only if I'm in digging mode do I bother with the uh, with that. And then usually I'll pick which weapon I want instead of my uh, to replace my shovel with. Usually I'll take the bow out in that case. Okay, so we got a bow now. So let's uh, 
Let's go use it real quick so you get the idea. You, you hold down the right mouse button to pull back. That makes you walk a little slower. I think it zooms in things a little bit. Oh, there's a sheep. We'll shoot the sheep. And you let go. And you hopefully shoot something. I, I don't think I shot the sheep. The only problem is the arrows are kind of a limited commodity. So what I'm probably going to do in the next couple episodes is build up my fencing a bit more and try to gather some farm animals, specifically some chickens. And if we can breed some chickens, that would be super awesome. I think we'll expand our farm area as well so that we can get a whole lot of wheat to... Uh, oh, darn it. To... Uh, to use to attract and mate our animals. I believe they all use wheat. Uh, at least all the farm animals do. We'll figure that out for next time. So for now, we have our reeds that we were looking for. We checked out the nether. I showed you how to make a bow. I say we were somewhat productive. Ah, yeah. Might even say Joel, yeah. Joel, yeah. So, with that said, I will also said and say, and say if I, this is where the tour stops for now. We have made it this far together. Please return soon for the next episode of Joel Safari.